Hi, Jay. You're sitting next to each other? Oh my god, you're adorable. So -so. So -so. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a thing. That's a thing that happens. When I turn this game on, it will back that point redemption automatically turns itself on it's a uh, self turn turning on -ing. I'll be right back I haven't started yet, but I'll be right back. Okay. Don't touch the door. Wait, what? This game is... Wait, you're taking over stream? Okay. Why did that pop up? Did someone do the command? Oh, yeah. I don't know what's going on. Hang on. Hello? <laughs> ten, oh, 10 million points? Ah, oh, fuck. Uh, I don't have that. That's fine. Freaking FedEx did the usual bullshit. You weren't here to answer your door. 
So we just leave to tag. I'm like, bitches, I've been watching for deliveries all day. That sounds perfect, Sadie. And yes, uh, in, in, in stream is perfect too. <sighs> Overheating. Fucking hot today. Fucking hot. Hi, friends. Sorry, Sadie and I. Oh, Sadie's been helping me figure out what the fuck I'm doing for this 24 hour stream because, you know, I've had months to plan it. I had it planned and then I decided to change everything. Um. Oh yeah, so the, the chat message that just popped up before about fourth wall. So fourth wall is where we get our merch from. Um and they have memberships, it's like Patreon. Um Ah, uh, thank you. These these are from Ali for Christmas, and I feel like they're appropriate for uh the trucks. <sighs> um this is, this is like one of my favorite tops. It's like really stretchy and comfy, but it makes me feel fancy because it's got a cowl neck. But it's actually full of holes, but you guys can't see them. Um, so yeah, it's basically the fourth wall memberships are like Patreon, um, but it's connected to fourth wall. So it means that I can do things like offer free shipping for any orders that you guys do. And there's discounts on the memberships if you're already a subscriber. Um, and unlike Twitch, where I lose half of a subscription, on Fourth Wall, I get 90%. Basically, they all they take is 5% is plus for us processing fees, rather than 50. Um, so, um, I had Patreon set up, and uh, I'm not asking anyone who's on Patreon to move. Uh, but the, I think I'll be focusing on fourth wall just because it's easier to, to do. And so there's some little perks there. So like if you have a uh, membership there, um, it's like basically like a bonus subscription. Um, they'll give you, I'll give you access to any community servers that we have for like Vintage Story or Project Zomboid. Um, for any annual subscriptions, people who have subbed for a year, uh, you'll get a little treat that sort of thing special merch merch try and do like special things there as well i'm trying to move things off twitch because i don't trust twitch basically they take half our income and are kind of sketch i don't trust the direction they're going with all the layoffs so basically I don't want anyone to like not subscribe because obviously that makes a difference. Um, but fourth, you will see me talk about fourth wall more. It doesn't mean I don't value subscriptions, but I will be talking more about fourth wall as time goes on. And I'm still fucking melting. Um, I don't know. Uh. I need to get this text message sorted out. This FedEx up. Can I not just scan this? Thankfully, there's nothing on this tag that's gonna dox me, so I'm not worried about it, to be honest. Mm. Mm. Yeah, 
this. Yes! Yeah, we're also talking about treats. So Sadie's been helping figure out what we're going to do. Um... Let's keep. Oh. Oh, whoops. Gotta be. Uh. Oh. Uh. It is. Yeah, suggestions for Dell treats. So 24 hour stream, um, we are gonna have little like donor goals or incentives, uh, and uh the focus is going to be on me. Which is a bit weird. Basically treats for treats for Dell. Um yeah. <sighs> yeah. So I'm I am a bit uncomfy about it, but I like the idea. Uh so Sadie is is doing the cheerleading for it. <laughs> Move my wheel over. So yeah, plans. Next, so next Saturday uh, and Sunday will be the 24 hour stream. Making a list. So the only thing, I, w I did originally say I was gonna start at 7 p.m. I wonder if I should start it earlier on Saturday. Like if I start at the usual time around four-ish. Cause last time the plan was to start at seven. So that I could have a nap before stream, but I was too fucking wired. I didn't nap before the stream. There was no napping. Toast, I'm so glad that you enjoy that emote. It entertains me to see it other places. Okay, where is my mouse? Okay, um. Okay, that button works. I didn't test any of my buttons on stream today. I'm just going to assume that everything works. Just check something. So yeah, I don't I don't know if we want to do something with the the eggs. So like last time, we we've had balloon pops and wheel spins, but east at after Easter Walmart had these little like plastic reusable eggs. There was like a big bag of them on sale for like seventy cents. So I bought two bags because I thought they could be useful for, you know, just like chuck them all in a box and pull out one and it could be like a steam key or a sticker or you know something like that it's like little spot things or something i don't know that was another idea um all right we're going over here now because it feels weird being really big on screen um it's gonna be weird for me on trucks because I don't have ultra wide on this anymore. I just realized I loaded up the game and I'm like, oh, my resolution is weird. What is going on?
All right. Phoenix will now taste me when they try to make the delivery next time. Should help. What is that? Infinity status in a. Let me use polite cat. Um, I don't know if Carter's joining us today, so I plan on playing this for a little bit. Obviously, we better. Moving house, especially when your house is like a couple hundred miles away, is a big job. Can't even imagine. Oh, I forgot I did. The UI feels very different. Also, with my graphics problems I was having, I basically just reset my settings to default. So, see how that goes. I think it's like default medium, default high. So I don't think it'll be any different for you guys, but it's gonna look different for me because it's higher resolution. <sighs> Have a drink first. Oh. Oh, my water. I forgot I put ice cubes on the water. We might be getting in Nebraska this week, too. Maybe, possibly. What else goes on a shark coochie board? Oh my god, it's so big. Cheese. We've got cheese and grapes, because those are things that I can just like gorge on. Nothing sticky or things that I have to do dips. Olives, some pickles, yeah, maybe, kind of, yeah. Ham. I like apple, but I don't like how apple goes. Um, I really like apple with ranch dressing. I don't like how apple goes brown so fast. Lunchables. I like carrots. Carrot slices. I think I have some carrot slices in the fridge already, actually. Hey, would you stop doing that? Whoa, shit. Are they? Okay. Let's see, like, the, that there, I can get myself to the store if need be for that. Why is my mouse drifting? Game, please. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> I, yeah, I could use lime juice or, or uh, lemon juice. Um, but yeah, I can I can get to the store. <sighs> um, but yeah, I like sliced apples. I like sliced carrots. And those are like good, um, like I want some low GI treats. Cause that'll keep me feeling good too.
And then my first thought was like goldfish crackers, which are obviously not low GI. I I do have a um. A large container of caramel cheddar popcorn coming in. They are. I suppose I could just go through um, the deli at Publix. Because that's literally just down the road. <clears throat> and just pick up whatever grabs my fancy. But honestly, I'm such a classy bitch that uh, cheese cubes and grapes are like my happy place. Uh, but yes, the list is helpful because then uh, I, I can like just reference in case I panic at the store. Okay, so my truck is repaired. It's all so big. I don't think it's any different for stream, but it's very different for me. It is true, yeah. Yes, that would be helpful. I mean, like, crackers, like some crackers like Triscuits or something like whole grain crackers. Um, and then maybe if I can find a hummus or something on sale, that might be another good. I'm just trying to think of things that I can like snack on and have have sitting in my room for the, the 24 hours and not have to worry about refrigeration or but yeah like I don't know Triscuits or some other sort of whole wheat cracker so it's like whole wheat stuff Ooh, sun-dried tomatoes. Maybe I can find a little thing, a tub of like anti-pesto type stuff. You know, where it's got like, like little mozzarella balls and tomato, cherry tomatoes and stuff in it. <laughs> I'm just sitting in my truck. I'm not even driving. Yeah. I think that'd give us a good variety, right? And then like whatever there's there's no meat on that list. I don't really care about that. Um but yeah, maybe if I can see some like diced ham or something. I, honestly, I don't really care about the uh, I might see if I can get some carrots too. Publix has a really, like, their, their deli and their produce is pretty good compared to Walmart. Like, it's always quite fresh. Yeah, that's true. I don't really see, I don't really like pepperoni that much. I like ham. Or, like, shredded chicken or something, but I'm not really into pepperoni. Oops. We'll see. I feel like I'm, I'm like all up in my truck's grill right now. I think so. And I said it's all like natural sugars too, so it's going to be like a slow. That's what I mean with like the low GI thing in terms of it just being like a, a slow release of energy rather than just like sure 
Though I'm gonna get the sugar too, because I've got some monster on hand. Like strawberry mango flavored monster stuff. It's not actually monster, but it's I think it's kind of monster. The problem is if we have that as a, a, a treat Adele, then <coughs> oh. it's breading coffee. Um, I'm going to be sitting there going, there's grapes over there. Why has no one fed me a grape? Give cheese, please. Cheese. Cheese. Okay. Are these towns that I've not been to? Or that don't need teleport? Yes. Well, I, I have... I have treat stream set up. But yeah, I think, no, you're right. Well, I guess it depends on if I put everything on the table next to me or not. Or if we're waiting for X number of items to get added to the plate and then I go get it. Honestly, I just want someone to tell me what to do. <laughs> and then I don't have to worry about it thinking. Which is a very grown-up way of dealing with it. Alright, we're doing this one. Is this too loud? It looks like it's getting kind of not for you. Okay. Like it's capping out. It's like five, three decibels above the music. Oh, that sounds really lovely. Yeah, it is. 
Okay, because this is like, this is too loud for me. Also, my camera alignment is uh, all kinds of wonky here. Oh, wait. How do I? Oh, that's cute. Feels better. God, I am so looking forward to a hug. Just as a warning, I'm probably just gonna end up falling like a little fucking baby when you give me a hug. I'm just gonna be like, <laughs> I'm Sadie. I'm probably just gonna cry the entire time. That'd be it. Perfect. Aww. Look at that little baby. Okay, so I can hear the music, I can hear the truck. I'm just gonna have to rely on someone else if it's wrong, if it's not. May have to turn the truck. Not really the music. Okay, let's make that thirty percent. Well, yeah, that's the main thing. I want to make sure I'm I'm louder than everything else. Well, I mean the music isn't that that important with the truck train. So on Crab Street. It's um. Where the fuck am I going? Oh, in here. It's funny because I went from like, it seemed like it was a very sort of regimented fixed plan and I was just like, no, oh, it's too much. But neither of those are what I want to do. Must be in there. Mm. I'm definitely missing the extra field. Yes. 
this paper. Man, this is so weird. Hey! Thank you for the follower. Welcome in. It's this is this is the first game I've played where I'm just like, whoa, I kinda miss the ultra wide. But that's okay. Whoa, oh, wrong button. That was totally a free turn. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we're off to Texas. So I was looking at these music licensing sites and I think I found a couple that I can just like work through with free trials. So I'm saving one of them for next week. <laughs> that I can have some like good music for the stream next week and not the YouTube playlist. A little bit cheeky. But I think it'll work. I don't know why, but pedals feel really weird today. Yeah. Because the, the best deal I could find for a year's license for music was 95, which is actually pretty good. They're all around the 90 to 120 dollar mark for a year's licensing. And the uh, having the licensing is, hey, there's a goal to put on the fucking the thing. <laughs> that I didn't think about until just now. Because that's something that I need for stream. Um, having the license taken care of, music, licensed music for a year, is just takes the stress off so much. I don't have to worry about like, music sources I play, I don't have to worry about videos getting copyrighted. Why does my left earbud have a low battery? they were put on the charge last time. Um, but yeah, I've definitely, like in the last few weeks when, since my last subscription lapsed, I've missed having the licensed music. And it is very stressful. Just when some jackass keeps on trying to put a copyright strike on me, well not a strike on me, but claiming copyright to a six second fucking audio clip that keeps getting you. It 
It's um it's one of the sound alerts from Tangier. And I know it's just fuckery. So like I I basically gave the a, a templated legal re reply to them and they will they this time they rejected it, so I'm waiting on Tangier to deal with it. But it's like a six second audio track that comes up when the one of the, the Maxwell the one of the cats comes up on screen. Um but the way that the copywriting works on YouTube is so fucked. Uh, I don't know if anyone here has experience with it. But basically so my YouTube videos aren't monetized. I don't have enough views or hours or whatever and that's fine i'm basically using my youtube as online storage for my vods and to try and get in the habit of uploading every day um but i don't like having anything with a copyright tag on it because you know i, I like a clean i like a clean house you know um and so every time someone comes through usually i can just be like this is fair use it's transformational blah 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 and it's fine except for this one fucking company um but the problem with the way that it works on youtube is that the second someone puts a, a copyright claim on a vod if it is money monetized they get money for it you lose any monetization and it, they get it and it doesn't matter if it's a valid claim or not you don't have to prove that you own the license so there's a lot of people who out there who put fake claims against bods in the hope of making money and the onus of of proving evidence is on the person who's been claimed against yeah so even when I was using uh, Epidemic last year, which are really good, by the way, um, I would get fake claims from companies claiming to be Epidemic. Um, but as soon as I replied back saying, you know, this is my licensing information, they'd like release it. But it's, it's even trickier than that, because if you say, if you post a video with whatever audio and someone says, that's mine, you can't use it, they don't have to be telling the truth. You have a right to appeal it and you can go, no, actually, I have permission to use this track or it's transformational or it's satire or parody or whatever. There's a bunch of reasons. Um, and usually they'll be like, okay, fine. At this point, though, if they refuse your reasoning, you have to do an official appeal against this fictitious person who's laid a claim potentially and if they reject your appeal so if you turn around and say no actually this is a correct usage of your music and they reject you a second time you officially get a copyright strike on your youtube account you get three copyright strikes on your youtube account and they shut you down So basically, like, there's been plenty of content creators on YouTube who have been completely fucked over by fallacious claims. And unless you've got a lawyer, there ain't nothing you can do. And it's such a stupid system. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Like, is it for me? It's not a big deal. And none of my videos are monetized. Um, but even then, I still get, I can still get official copyright strike on me. So now I'm sitting here with one of my videos, six seconds muted. I could just leave it. It's fine. Um, but I don't like being bullied. Repeatedly. So that's why I keep on raising it with the, uh, with the website where I do the, with the Tangier. It's like, I'm not this ain't right I'm not gonna get bullied because for six seconds <laughs> that's stupid I'm 
leave earbuds flat. Yeah. And so I keep on going like, oh, I could just ignore it. Okay. It is time. Could be going faster than this, but I'm quite comfy at this pace. I just realized that I haven't got food. I should probably do something about that. I have 12 minutes until the break. Get, we'll get something to eat now. So weird driving at the speed limit. What the hell is going on with? It's downhill too. I've been enjoying using the cruise control because then I don't have to. I have my feet on the pedals, which is, you know, something that you're supposed to do or something, you know, like hands on the wheel, feet on the pedals, oh, bullshit. Oh no, are we, we merging? I thought this was going to go badly. Bonus lane! Oh, that's gonna hurt. Yeah. Fine. It's fine. Actually, you know what? I'm really hungry. Piss everyone off. Be right.
Okie doke. Why can't Why can't I drive without using my feet? I fucking love vinegar and fries. Not destructive at all. And his wing mirrors are huge. It must be a way to scale them down. the rainstorm. <laughs> Night sky, no aurora in the game. That's what they need to have. We didn't see the aurora unfortunately last night. Like it was too much light pollution here. drove a good way out of town. Um, <clears throat> out past, like, in all the industrial shit. Because we were already kind of on the edge of the city. But we were just street lights everywhere. To get, like, out away from all the street lights would have been impossible. I'll try again tonight though. Take a tripod in my camera and see if I get a and get a stable exposure that way. I was having a serious case of FOMO.
I saw, I know, some people here <clears throat> did get a good view. Like, not far from us, but far enough away, like <clears throat> 50 miles away. Got good views, but that's far enough away for the, uh, away from the lights. If it were just me, I'd go for a big old drive, but <clears throat> I don't drive and I don't think Flint's that interested in it. So I can't really ask him to drive for a couple of hours without knowing. But we may or may not see something. This is my, maybe my ignorance speaking, my lack of awareness, but is it particularly sandy there? Do you think that would be a, a factor? Uh, hey Steve, yeah, I I am in a VTC, but I'm not, I'm not playing on uh, TMP right now, I'm just playing on my own. The problem, the problem with uh, playing on TMP is I have to pay for the play by the rules. Um, <laughs> a Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. I can't remember what they actually call it, but yeah, Sergeant Pepper. It's a pretty. I don't know how active it is anymore. But I, I only play this like once a week now, so. Oh, we have ads running right now. Whoops. Whoop. Thanks. I'm not really a safe driver, but thank. Oh. Whoa. Hello? I would like to make it clear that I did not do this. How did I get... How did I get into this? Leave free cursor mode. Oh, right. OTR? I don't know that one. The paper photo mode? How do I fuck's sake? I think the I think the one I'm in is like SPLH. I haven't like I said I haven't logged any jobs in ages. Right. I kind of enjoy just playing for the fun of it, fucking around. I didn't do those. Thanks for the follow, Steve. Whatever. Shut up. Hey, Liv. Looks like, ah, uh, shit, doll's driving. Fish and chips for lunch. Well, I'm still working on the chips. And I'm driving. I should go get a beer. How are you, Luke? Have you... Did, did you get a... I saw you post that it was too cloudy for you to see anything. 
Are you gonna try again tonight? Wait, what time is it? Oh, it's like nine o'clock in the morning. Jeez. Am I not in a predicament? I'm doing poorly. Do I ever exist outside of the estate? I think is probably the better question. Are you dead? That's good. I saw the ones that Lid's got. They look really good. Oh my god, these are long. We um we drove out of out of town, but the city I'm in is like one of the biggest cities in the states. We're kind of fucked when it comes to light pollution. But it was still nice getting out of the, going for a drive. Ooh. Oh, that's really pretty. That's gorgeous. Did you do like, did you use like night capture or something on that? Or did you do like a long exposure? It's crazy that it was, it was visible, um, the northern lights were partly visible in, in Florida. It's like, Jesus Christ, it's so far south. I think I remember seeing the lights in Wellington when I lived there. Like, maybe once. That's so cool. Thank you for sharing that. It's so pretty. I saw a, a lot of people said that using, you could probably see it better on your phone than in with the naked eye because of wavelengths. I think tonight I might try again. And I'll take out my phone um, and put on a tripod. We'll see how that works or not. And vinegar and chips are so good. It's such a, like, I don't know. I get kind of I think it's a humbling thing to see such a grand solar system type event it's so huge from so far away and yet we can see it and I know some people get like the scale of it is kind of intimidating, but for me, it's kind of like reassuring that like the world will go as it will, not as you as I or I would have it. So why not just enjoy the beauty of it? So I don't know, like a weird sort of fatalistic way of looking at it perhaps, but. Oh, look, boom lips. I was, was sad that we didn't get to see her last night. I'm not doing that one. That's gonna suck. Fucking boom lifts. Ooh. 
Ooh, the propane tank is pretty. <clears throat> don't blow my nose and you don't want to hear that well you might but you have to pay extra for that here we can some uh, propane or some ethane let's do the ethane where am I going? Laramie or Roland? I don't know which one of those would be better. Man, this teleport is taking forever. Oh. What? What do you mean it's not in condition? I got bullshit. Where are they going? Up here. Well, leave me then. sitting across the game then. Considering visiting service? What do you mean? Oh. Right, I forgot about the fact that there's beer in here. afford it.
Tschüss. Heck? Oh, my wheel is all over the place. Oh man, this is making me want to play WRC though. Those were the good old days. Oh god. It's a pretty little town up here. Charlie by it. This town reminds me of the town from uh, that you may have been found so. We are completely ignoring all the traffic signals. This is a weird. Ooh, a train. Just a bus, it's fine. It's totally safe to taste and drive. <laughs> it's my turn. Just do a little U turn. the tires wheel. Go. 
what, is the job even still available? Next creatures are so good. Oh, those are mine. Collected back scratches, that's amazing. This one's starting to. I have to like crimp some of the uh, pieces on it because it's starting to like the, the telescopic parts of it are collapsing when they get used. I use the heck out of it though. This is the one from Gamepedia. Back in the day, this is set on my desk entirely, but yeah, it started where it just collapses by itself, and I was like... But I would be lost without it. I think I need to get another one at some point. I like it because it's metal. Like, not one of those stupid soft baby ones. Um, like Flynn got one for himself from Dollar Tree. It was like plastic and they had these little like knobs on the end of each tine. But you can't get a good scratch with that. Like what's the point? It needs to have like a, you know, a bit of an edge. Let's see if we can do this. Oh, I thought it was going to hit the building then. good thing to have as a collection too because you know like in terms of size of things it'll take up considerably less space than like a collection of teapots or creepy dolls to lift some stuff before stream and I bring it back. Jonesy that directly posted. It's such a nice photo. Ooh. I'm paying attention, honest. Pack 
package from Amazon that was supposed to arrive last night that is now out for delivery for between 10 and 7 and 10 tonight. I fully expect it to get put off by another day. Like, and I got this red light bullshit. Maybe. Oh, can I erase them? We'll go to the top of the hour. Well, the end of this job, actually. I'm just going to see how I feel at the end of this job. I'm too uncomfy. I'll just switch off. I hate that I can't play trucks as much. Switch to. Could switch to some gas station sim, maybe. Or. Um, hey, Star. Alright. Already struggling a bit <laughs> with the, the comfort levels. So I'm trying to plan what I'm going to do at the end of this job. How you doing? I may have to just retire the, after all the excitement of getting like a nice meal and pizza. I may have to retire and start using it. Hey, how's Foundry? Have you slept? Slept. Have you closed your eyes? And rested your brain at night time. Yeah. I've heard very good things about Foundry. Oh, well, that's good. Trying to figure out when I finish this if I want to switch to um, vintage story or something else. I'm making my vintage story bullshit. I don't think I got off my vintage story bullshit. We've been planning for next weekend's uh, 24 hour stream. Which I said I would never do again. And now I'm planning on doing it again. been planning snacks and some goals to work towards and then we're gonna do giveaways how are we gonna do giveaways
There's all stuff that I should have had planned weeks ago, and I thought I did, but then I unplanned it. Now I have to replan it. And my attention span is just that like, It's wandering. Good thing I have a GPS. I'd be lost without it. Literally. <laughs> it wasn't where I mean I I mean I know that's what it's for. <laughs> but <laughs> I realized what I said after the fact. I'm like, oh yeah, no, that stands. Oh. Apparently I hit the brakes instead of the gas pedal. I do find myself looking a lot at the GPS and I really don't shouldn't need to. It's so weird now with the um this is the first time I've played this on my new monitor which is not ultra wide so I'm used to seeing a lot more of the road I think we're gonna try and do a convoy at some point next Saturday. So, if you have, if you don't have any plans for, for Saturday next week, wanna play trucks with me? A little bit of trucks. I figured we'd do a truck convoy for a little bit just to start the stream off the way it's meant to go, which is a complete train wreck. I haven't decided when I'm starting on today, so probably... Yeah, that's fine. I get it. As long as you got to coordinate things. Um, nothing wrong with, with double checking with the spouse if you're available or have commitments. I'm thinking we'll probably start around five to six ish my time um for a couple of hours i can't i can't play trucks for too long because i get sore so basically around now last year i started the stream at like 7 pm but i think it was just a bit late so i'd rather start a little earlier Yeah, please, please don't like don't go out of the way or anything. I just kind of figured since you were here, I'm kind of tr mentally trying to put together a, a, a roster of people to keep me company throughout the stream. But 
but I think starting off with trucks would be a good way to go. We might may may do some Forza later on in the evening. When I'm overtired and it doesn't matter if I smash into things. Actually, when I get rewarded for smashing oh god, for smashing into things. So my frame rate's been really consistent. I just realized. Okay. Like I was having issues with my frame rate dropping down to like 20 something last couple times I played. I reset my graphics to default and then just use the, the default high setting. I guess that fixed it. I could put it on ultra. It looks really good to me though. Playing this in 2K. I got so many more pixels than I used to. So many pixel. This is very pretty. Yeah, anyway, just like from, I haven't finalized, but I'm guessing around like 5, 5 p.m. next day to 5 p.m. Sunday, assuming I don't die in the middle. <sighs> there might be like, I don't know, I haven't settled on the time, but it would be with like an hour or two of that anyway. think a tank of ethane would be that ex that heavy but I guess we are going over a mountain pass I don't know, it can't be that heavy surely oh 51,000 pounds? 50 pounds? I don't know what the imperial units are. I guess that's kind of heavy. I guess. Yeah. For some reason I thought it was going to be gas, but it makes sense to transport it as liquid, doesn't it? Oh boy. That was fine. I totally clipped their truck back there with my tank of liquid ethane. That's what they get for getting in my way. Of course, the bonus of, of this heavy cargo is now I have gravity assist.
This was a lot shorter than I was expecting. God, I was on a mission last night and then did a story to find me. Chalk or lime or marble. Uh. Yeah, I think this is going to be my last, last drive because I'm hurting. I don't have the the sassy her driver to keep me distracted. Distraction goes a long way. Was a sharp turn. Ooh, they got a nice pull. This is really pretty. It seems a bit sus to be doing these deliveries, like down sketchy ass dirt robes. Oh, okay, in there. We could change to um Ooh, get the stuff in here. Oh, here we go. I got one good screenshot. this hobby like homebrew okay that's good Luna thank you it's a homebrewing beer No 
Wait, really? Oh, there you go. I mean, made it pretty fucking delicious. You, how about you could phrase, you could frame it. Um, as a, yes, right. Frame it as A science lesson for the kids. Teaching them about uh, dissolvable solids and uh, fermentation and the importance of accurate measurements. I'm serious. There are, there are a lot of lessons to be learned in terms of chemistry with making booze. You didn't get the temperature right, see? You could absolutely phrase it as a, a chemistry lesson. Hmm. I would have loved to have tried that, but we don't have, uh, like there, there's nowhere in the house that has a stable temperature. And you kind of need a controlled temperature environment to, to have it work properly. Unfortunately. You know, Stone, I just know that you're a bit of a booze hag. That's that's all it is. It's quietly. Babes easier than beer? Oh, that's interesting. Is it like just less ingredient? Oh god, I feel so much better just getting my leg tucked up. I don't know anything about it. My, I know. When I was in high school, my best friend's dad used to make beer, but it all just smelled like I love beer. The beer he made smelled disgusting and he would just sit there and get drunk on it and it was awful. All right, let's see. Oh, tucking my legs up. Okay, so what are we doing? <sighs> we could do vintage story because you know we haven't played it in a while. Um, yeah, that's what I thought. And you can actually, like, there's so many interesting ways of sourcing yeast for making booze as well, booze and bread. Hmm. Uh, I can't brain. So. Holy crap, my lipstick looks really bright today. I love mead. When, uh, back home, I remember telling my granddad telling me that he loved mead. And we have a lot of places in New Zealand that are like little, like, microbreweries. And you can go to like any grocery store and there's always like some little bottle of like locally brewed meat. It's amazing. Um, so I bought a bottle, just a small bottle, like 
I don't know, like a 500 mil bottle. And uh, <laughs> I took it over at his place. So one of the things that gran my grand and I used to sit outside, and we, like when I visited, we'd always sit outside if it was sunny and have a beer or two together. It was like a special thing that we did. So we I took him the mead and I warned him that mead is pretty strong. And so instead of pouring, like he was like, just get us a couple of glasses. I'm like, no, <laughs> this, this was like, this had a really high ABV. So I got some like little shot glasses just to like sip out of. And his nose, like, after a couple of mouthfuls, his nose went bright red and he was like, oh, that's so good! I was like, yeah, meat is amazing. There were lots of places to get it though. We had lots of medieval fairs, which is a fantastic place for meat too. Bless him with his bright red drunken nose. Wait, where is my overlay? Oh, Luna, that's so cool. I haven't played Planet Crafter in ages. <gasps> You've got your bed there with the butterflies around. I love that. That's gorgeous. All right, has nobody said anything that's basically the same as telling me that you want me to play Vintage Story? Basically the same. So, I don't, I don't make the rules, this is just how it is. Just, it's just how it is. So what sort of flavings would you put in there? Like berries? Oh, black currant, could you make a black currant meat? And also, can you send some to me? <laughs> I love black currants and I miss that flavor so much. Or like a ginger mead would also be nice. And also like a uh, rhubarb and apple. See, now you have to. You can just tell your wife that you've already got some orders. Some international orders. And it would be a shame if you weren't able to fulfill that. And the music wait game up.
Blueberry. Ooh. I'm not. I'm not really big on the old blueberry thing. Hi. I try it. Oh, my back is so itchy. Raspberry, blackberry, blueberry, strawberry. I don't think I've ever had strawberry, peach, mango. And pa I'm not sure about mango and passion fruit, to be honest. The peach, mango, and passion fruit, they all seem like a bit too cloying. But I think like a citrus would go very well with honey. What is with dragon fruit all of a sudden? All of, I noticed like dragon fruit, fruit flavored, all sorts of stuff, and it's like, why? It's gross. In my opinion, I don't, I don't, I don't play like dragon fruit. Hi, Drax. Um, well, I just, I already just lo loaded in. But no complaints so far. I got copper, yes. I don't, I just, dragon fruits just doesn't do it for me, man. It's a weird flavor. And then, the, like, the dragon fruit candy, people always add cheat. I was, I was trucking for two hours, but I was, I got uncomfy. The... Uh, it was good. I, I didn't write off any trucks. Uh, so, bonus. I want to try something. Um, yeah, I was... I was on my little old lonesome today for trucks, which uh, I, I didn't have my usual distraction. But we did some planning for the 24 hour stream. It's this one. I want to see if I can make a charcoal shoot. Thank God, I thought I was on the wrong section. So, my today I need to get, I need to find some like chalk or limestone or something. I need to... I I filled up this entire tower with it. draw a house. How do I... Oh, right. Shift. That's what I wanted to try and do. Oh, 
Oh, I didn't think that was gonna work. All right. Oh. Uh. I was like, what if I could just like have a massive tower? Dandelion meat is delicious. Hit that. What if I can do that? Aha! I can. I didn't have to do it that way either. I thought I was worried that it would spill out. But it's letting me put it back in. All right, so let's go get the rest of it. So I was like, what would it be handy to just have like a stack of it near where you are and then you can just like add more rather than having to mess around with you know boxes and shit This is what I was doing yesterday when I was supposed to be looking for food. Oh, I can just... Yeah, once it's in the pile, I can just... Once it's... Ow. All right. I forgot that it, that it hurts. Oh god, I'm gonna get drowned in coal. I think so. It looks like that. Because I know if you just stack coal on the ground, it'll spread. So I was like, what if I could make a stack? Like if I create it from the top down. Holy crap, how much charcoal did I make? All right, get out this way. It's like, what if, what if? It's adding sideways to the stack. Thank. It is. So it's like naturally sliding sideways, but it doesn't fall out. I'm trying to think of like an interesting way of like building it so you can just like have a furnace and then like empty the furnace, load up the coal chute right next to your crafting area or whatever and job done. I used both of these because I wasn't sure if it was gonna pour out of the bottom or not. But yeah, normally what happens if you just place a few pieces of, of charcoal, it'll just like, after two or three high, it'll just slide around. So you could have glass blocks on the side of it so you could see your charcoal levels. And 
I think because like this stack is already been formed, as long as I don't take from it, it won't slip, I think. I was vaguely hopeful with the charcoal that you could just like take from the bottom and it would fall down. So this doesn't work the way I was hoping, but this is still interesting. Now I need to make some clay, uh, some bricks and get some clay uh, glass going. So I think if I... that coal and give it make it so that it's only like one block with it will act basically it'll act like a pierce dispenser I may have gone a little bit overboard making charcoal. And, and like th three hours later, I'll be like, where the fuck is all the charcoal? Okay, so, oh crap, now I have to get out. Okay, so let's... I feel like the important thing is having a door at the bottom of this when you form it. Oh. Shut up. Well, this is going to be easy enough to test. Oh, you know, let's let's sleep through. This isn't be easy enough to test now that I've come up with the idea of it. We'll just make a mock up with dirt. So the idea basically is to make a three by three block room. And then just f toss coal. In there. See how it, it comes forward? But I think... Oh, hey, do that. I think if you do this, it's my shovel. I don't have a shovel. I think if you do that. I 
it's sticking. So you could have a tower however big you wanted to have it and in fact because it acts like a fluid you could have a bend in it as long as we so you could do like this because the cold pours Again, as long as you've got a gate there. Eh, okay, that's awkward. Let's get rid of that one. As long as you have a gate at the top. You can load it up from the top. I get from the bottom. All loaded from the bottom. And if you have glass there, you can see exactly how much shovel you've got. Hey, we learned a thing. But yeah, I feel like as long as you're, well, I mean, you can add from any angle. Oh, I hadn't thought about that. Look, these blocks are getting marked as a wilderness trail. Because I was just thinking, like, for instance, if you have a multi-story building and you have like a kitchen on one floor and like a smithy on another and you know you need charcoal for both you could literally just have a charcoal shoot for the entire building going down in one central corridor and a furnace and you can access the charcoal from one place and wherever you are It's telling me how much, I oh don't know, it's just telling me how many blocks. Wait, will it fall out of the air? Ow! Yes. So the key is that the using a trapdoor or perhaps a half lock. You're a half lock. Let's see if you work to stop it from. No, not like that. Stupid. Yeah, you only need a half block, just something that takes the space of the block but still allows access. Ow! 
I, th I think it may have just fallen over the top. <laughs> yeah, it, it leaked out the top. All right. Actually, you don't even need three. I don't know how much more charcoal I've got. Here we go. We have a, a charcoal tower. Okay, so we had- oh, wait, was that a piece of- Alright! Interesting experiment. So yeah, I feel like any block that would work there, so like... I bet even a stair would work. If it were like on its side. If you really wanted to try and hide the function of it. Yeah. I feel like we've we've done a learn today. Pretty happy with that. I love the salt button so much. Oh my god, if I if real life had a salt button, I would be so happy. It would be amazing. I just realized I was loading up this charcoal in a really silly way as well. Oh, look, it's sticking out the top. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight times sixteen. That's how much charcoal I have. Okay. And now I'm like, but how can I make this look interesting? little house picture in there. Okay.
Um, I'm I'm very I mm, I'm very intrigued by this. I feel like this is going to have some pretty cool uses if I can figure out how to use them. Yeah. I definitely need something there though. But yeah, you could totally have just a coal chute going through the entire building. In fact, you could have at the like in the basement of your building, you could have your charcoal furnace and the coal chute. And you could load the coal chute from the bottom and then access it from wherever the fuck you want. Like I said, because because the coal pours, you could have, you know, like a little access hatch on whatever floor where it like comes forward. As long as you put a, a block or something as a space saver. I can't have been the first one to figure that out though. I bet there's lots of very interesting ideas out there messing with the flow of coal. The fluid dynamics of burnt trees. Shopping list. <gasps> My cabbages! It's too hot for my cabbages. But they're trying. Too hot for the berry bushes too. All right. Oh, that's why I didn't have a shovel. Because I did have a shovel. I just hadn't made it yet. Big ham, Molly. We, we just learned a fun thing. I love that I can be like so obsessed with the game and then still learn about it months after I've started playing. Oh. Oh no, my state snake stew went off. Oh no, I have no food. <laughs> I've got some bright. Yum yum. <laughs> it's it's a bit warm here. I do. I don't even have a juice press yet. Oh, that's not gonna work, is it? Why? What am I doing wrong? I can't. <laughs> I can't pick it up. You know what? Fine. You can stay like that, full of rot and goodness. No, I have no backup food supplies at all. Guess I'm going hunting. Oh. Ali posted a clip of that lake that I told you about. 
No, Ali posted it in Discord with the the really pretty, pretty lake in the cave that ended up not a pretty lake in the cave. That was something else. I went there twice and both times I got the full on like goose bumpy gross gross out of ness. Where did I go hunting pigs? I can't remember where I went hunting last time. Yes. Oh, I only have 33 rocks. I'm sorry, I'm hungry. Thank you. There was something else I wanted to try and make. They. But I can't remember what. Probably need to quern. Um, in Dell Clips, I think. Stream stuff in Dell Clips. Welcome back! Did you go home? The car is good. I switched over to Vintage Story. I did some driving and then my hip was hurting, so I switched over. And now I am hunting for food. You tell me I can hit you. Well, I hope you feel better now. I'm sorry, you had a tummy ache. It's good. Well, I know it's not my fault, but I can still feel empathy for you having an upset tummy. Shut up! Not, not you, my character complaining about having an upset tummy. <laughs> It's fine. Shut up! I'm looking. I'm trying to find food. Garbage can be tasty. <sighs> I'm gonna die of starvation. I got so obsessed with playing with the fluid dynamics of coal. That I... Yeah, yeah. Oh god. That was the thing. It was like they were like falling from the ceiling. And it was it was so hard to look away. But also it was terrifying. Oh, hello. You'll do. I went back to show someone and they were still falling. They were still, it was literally like it was just raining locusts. It just kept going. It's like, oh, why? Why are you doing this? You ruined a perfectly pretty cave. And not five minutes before, I'm like, this would be a really nice place to make a home. No, no, Dell, it wouldn't. Don't live there, and it's very close to where I am. 
assume we can't eat fire, but we'll glow worms. I'm in like a in-between biome type place too. Doesn't have I can hear a goat. I don't have any blocks. Four, five, six. No! Fuck you! Ah! why I'm taking the skins because I can't do anything with them until I find mine. Okay. Those are still upright flowers. All right so we have 15 meat. We find some berries to go with it. These were the beefs, meat stews with uh, berries in are pretty efficient before you get the uh, fancy cooking going. Very hard. I can't see, but also don't want to sleep because hungry. That's fine. I need to start collecting some of these flowers too. Try and lure some of these bees out. Quiet current. Ooh. I should just get a. Hello? Fake, but it was so perfect. Rude. Um, we should make some more fish traps. can sleep in So that becomes so seven. 
so I need another handful of berries. There's a mama bear wandering around here somewhere, but I don't want to fuck with her. You can tell she's been going on a snack rampage because there's like remains all over the place. It still feels a little bit cheaty to be playing in passive mode. Like, I feel like I, I almost owe it to someone to play with aggressive creatures, which is a silly way to think about it. Yet. God, there's so many. Ma oh God, they're right here! Look at all these berries right at my outside my back door. Right. All these hides going off. It's so painful. try messing around with that the that charcoal shoot now. Like how useful would it be if it just came out like right above the forge? So you could just like stand in front of it and get what you needed. Actually, the nice thing is this building, this moped big wall, it's, there's nothing behind it. There's nothing stopping me from like putting stuff behind it and testing things out. It's like a Hollywood set. I still think this kind of reminds me of when you play like Skyrim or Fallout and you just find these like little campsites where someone, the bandits have just like turned up and made themselves at home. One of those was a um, store. See, I was supposed to be looking for borax today, but now I want to see if I can make that whole shoot like thing. If only there were a way to make like the process of harvesting the charcoal is pretty tedious but then I suppose once you get like a decent like an iron or a meteoric shovel fine.
I know where some meteor is, I just can't do anything with it. I haven't even started looking for iron yet. looking under your base. Under my base is Mole Man. Why did that only hold two? Oh, fine. Is this, why is this being so frustrating? Delicious. I have some berries for dessert. So this is all granite. I was so hopeful I saw this white splash here. There's one somewhere else and I was like, oh my god, is that if I got short here? No. It's all granite sand. Do we think that's limestone, maybe? Let's change this one to be No, I'm gonna keep that one to be reason actually. Why can't I copy paste? just silly. Oh, I know. I'll just like refer to this handy dandy macro guide from this like dude on the internet. Where's the, uh, uh, the things here? iPhones. Oh, 
hey, it worked. Um, what do I call it? Tree fallen. No, they just made it say something in chat. Wait, what is that last? Yeah, you can't have one that goes over a line. So I need a shorter color. Lime. Let's switch it to lime. Actually, the icon didn't work, but like everything else did. get a macro setup for the tree hollows because it's one of the things that this mod doesn't the uh, automatic map mark scene doesn't do is it gonna use that can i use this i wonder Right. Try this. Some of these icons, they don't like them, huh? What is that one? Waypoint letter. You know what? That's fine. Um, I got distracted again. Hey, Flav. Hey. Oh, hey. Hey! I can make the command, the, the point redemption work automatically to turn on. I haven't figured out how to make it turn off. One step at a time. We'll get there. Right. That's fine. We're gonna we're gonna close that. We're gonna close that. Yeah, because, you know, if there's so many people just hate the the alerts that make sounds.
I think. <gasps> it, it, yeah, isn't it? So croissant. Okay. There. All right, what backups have we got? I have a backup pick and a hammer. How much more? I don't know. Mm, I'll probably got 80. So I, oh, I have enough for exactly four more pours. So let's do another axe, a prospecting pick, and then two ingots. Oh, I hear doors opening and closing. I'll be right back. Never mind. <laughs> Alright. It was an Amazon delivery, but it was just in laws. Um, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna do those and then fill up those. In my joint kitchen slash smithy. Charcoal shoot. Ahoy! How was medieval dynasty? I was. I, I finished up trucks and I was looking on Steam and I'm like, what do I want to feel like playing? Just in case I felt like something other than Vintage Story and I saw you were playing Medieval Dynasty. I figured you were playing with Dev. I hope you stole lots of things. Nice. I've been I've been thinking a lot about that. Mana Lords made me kind of want to play Medieval Dynasty. Mostly he just kills boars. That's amazing. I must finish my playthrough. I think I finally found a woman who would marry me even with my uh Colored past. My checkered past. I probably have to tell her something nice though first. Some bullshit. I 
I know. There are. There are some body folk out there. I, you know, I just want a cute girl to settle down with. I don't think it's one who appreciates my thieving skills. So I can steal her heart. Or some bullshit. <laughs> That's amazing! See? I need a lady like that. Why do we gotta have insect arms? So, you're over here. Decisions were made. Did they fix that? It looks like they did, didn't they? Six days. Three days. Okay, what if I... Okay. That seems fine. Like, totally a, a, a way, way to store food. Okay, we have ads starting shortly. Damn. Oh wait, no, I need to break do that first. Alright, where's the other? Did I cover it? I think I covered it.
No. Bugma. Look at that. Eight and nine days. That'll do. So, so my squirrel silliness yesterday making that charcoal tower turned into a very interesting idea today and we learned a cool thing to do um so coal is one of those things that you can just click to add to a stack and it'll just stack like firewood does however it flows kind of as well so once you get to a certain height it will spread which is really annoying but we figured out if we just like surround an entire column of it you could basically just have a our coal chute that you can just add to and then have access to from anywhere else so you could have this big like column going out the middle of your house full of coal yeah so with this you could basically load it up at the bottom so you could potentially have like a charcoal pit at the bottom of a building load the coal in here and then access it from the top Assuming it's full. Hi, Ravi. Uh, we did a learn. This game looks interesting. Yeah, you might like it. Maybe. That's better. This needed to be tidied up a bit. I was like, what is that? I can't. It won't let me. Oh. Well, I tried that before and it didn't work. That's not helpful. Baby, hey, there is nothing wrong with baby bedtime books. It's the nice thing about this game. You can play it as like baby bedtime or you could play it as a Necronomicon, you know? However, however you feel most comfy. Yeah.
Oh, these are already said. It's handy. While I was messing around with other things. Not that I ever get distracted. Yeah, I made a bunch of, of molds. That's them all there. So now I've got a bunch of... Making some like extra tools. I get uncomfortable if I don't have like a backup of each tool. Except for the prospecting pack, I don't care about that one. You want to keep, keep one of those. So, what we want to do. We want to try and find. Whatever it takes to make mine. So chalk, limestone, or marble, or shells, so I can make lime water so I can process leather. I just went through an ad break and then realized I needed to pee again. It's fine. So I think there's a limestone desert not too far to the southeast of me. I'm not sure. This is all granite up here. But I feel like maybe down here, and now I've got the raft. We could just do a run down there. I reckon. I'm going to pin that as a question mark for me to aim at. Oh, it's summer now. <laughs> I'm I'm starting to get anxiety about winter. <laughs> I only just gone summer and I'm like, oh god, winter is coming and all I have is a handful of cabbages. We just we just gonna go this way. But not with a prospecting pick. And not really with a hammer? Uh, maybe with a hammer. <laughs> Get rid of that. Okay, so we're just gonna head straight towards the question mark. No distractions. Straight there. I don't know how long it's going to take to get there. I 
I didn't mean it when I said no distractions. Blueberries! Oh my god, blueberries! That's so pretty. I don't like blueberries IRL, but I think they're real pretty in game. Oh, I'm full, but I'm still eating them. That's what I'm like with strawberries. all right so we're looking while we're looking for getting towards that place we want to look out for borax clearly thought that was something reasons I'm getting a headache This is all going to be so, whoopsie, so much easier now I don't have to worry about. Oh. For me. Oh, hello? Is that? <gasps> Borax! I mean, it's partially submerged, but we can we can work around that. There's no sand there. Well then. So what we're going to do is... Hey, hang on a second, what am I doing? I just can make a shelf. Uh, so I can stop falling. There. Still gonna let me because I need I need a stronger X, right? <sighs> I 
Okay, we gotta mark this. And then carry on our merry little way. Well, at least now I know there's some borax nearby. Some down here too. So silly. I don't need more blueberries. Oh, I must have been on the other end. I lucked out and found a trader that had a uh, trader. Um, ruins. Nice of ruins. I had a quote. A lot of heat. I'm really like intrigued by some of these deep pits on the water. And I said it so that I could breathe underwater for like an hour or something, which you know is, is never gonna happen. But I still have anxiety about being stuck underwater. Even though I've made it so that I can be underwater for a long time. It's raining. You can tell we're getting near the redwoods because it's raining. Yeah, now I I know that this is like a biome thing. It's like, well, I could just plant a redwood forest somewhere else, though.
apple tree. The difference this raft makes in tribal is ridiculous. my coffee a bit strong today apparently We hear about that brown coal? Not really. been here before because I've got map markers. Some little brown coal. Excuse me, sir. So I found a prison. say no to free tools.
Yeah, some shit went down here, right? Metal table, manacles. This game is like that, though. Terra Prater Salt Arsnip Seeds <sighs> Like my inventory is is hurting So I think I'm just going to have to put a map marker down. I don't have enough dirt to do that. So let's mark this as uh, Runes to be looted Okay. Trying really hard not to be distracted. in there is like super high quality super uber duper fertile soil it's like the stuff the cool people use oh no the crabs are out crabs are mowing the lawn too Is that a... You have to go around here. I didn't loot the stuff, I left it there. Pause if I can get lime. Then I can start getting bigger backpacks, so then I can pick up them. 
probably could have gone a different way there. Okay, so just gonna go south a bit to get around all this mess. It's really dark. I don't want to fall into a hole. Oh, a papyrus. Okay, so also keeping eyes out for Peanuts. Playstar. Not that I can see much at the moment because it's really fucking dark. I feel like that's uh, a thing over there. What is it? 2050? Limestone! Fucking jackpot. Thought we had limestone over here. Alright. Perfect. blocks and two sticks that's it all right oh granite blocks we had granite over here right granite granite I have some sticks. Now I'm like, oh hey, you know what would be nice? Some trees. So it's like this, and then like that. There we go. Okay. So now we can get some of that tasty, tasty limestone. Let's see if there's a... That's, that's fine. Let's see if I can find a better bank of it. I love the contrast in the materials. Hey, it's class. Hello. Thank you for the raise. 
You've been playing Vintage Story as well. Amazing. Hello, welcome back. Good to see you. Oh. I am immediately suspicious. <laughs> uh, it has. Oh, how fun. Yeah, I hope, I hope you had a great time. I'm just exploring or looking for limestone, which we've just found, so I can do some uh, leather processing. Um, thank you so much for the raid. I really appreciate it. Um, for everyone who came over with Klaus, hi, uh, I'm Deliria, my pronouns are she, her, and I am also playing Vintage Story, which you can probably tell if you've been watching Klaus playing Vintage Story. Um, I'm on a, at the moment I'm playing a single, oh, thank you, I appreciate the kind of offer there. Um, I'm just putzing around on a single player game in uh, what I call gentle mode. Just go waste. Um, there, I do. There is a server that I have, that I do play on uh, with some friends. Uh, but sometimes I want something without ag aggressive critters, and and where the sky won't fall on my head if I go digging. I tell you, I like I'll not play this for like a week, and then I start being like, no, oh, I really, oh, <gasps> ooh, hello. It's me not being distracted. What's that? Oh, fucking pine cone. Fuck off with that bullshit. Alright, don't care. Alright, don't care. Fire spread. <gasps> Peanut seeds! Alright, thank you so much again. I hope you have a wonderful evening. I make a um, Let me just make sure I follow you now. I don't. Here we go. I don't forget because I have a memory like a sieve at the moment. I'm very excited that I got peanut seeds. Oh, you don't care about that either. Even if it's just a peanut seed, it's pretty exciting. Alright, let's. Um, where are we going? Peace. I really want to check out this limestone. It was up there. Why didn't I think about getting some? It was right there. There we go. How much limestone there is there? The game keeps on trying to make me pick up that onion seed again. Put all them berries. that gear is great. Alright, that's what I want. Right here. What? What's in limestone? 
it actually wouldn't be a bad place to mine quartz. So I made the quern so that I can just like grind it while I'm here. this down yeah that's right so, so the adventure begins I thought maybe the ratios might be slightly different wasn't anywhere near as stressful as I thought it was going to be. I've decided that that is enough. <laughs> That's fine. I don't need that. What I'm going to do is load up on. Wait. Picking up the uh, lint too. Really need to. Something to be said about building uh, in a chalk or a limestone biome. Jesus Christ, it's so bright.
Okay, now I think what I'm gonna do is go over to... Where that quartz was. Maybe... Let's see what I can pick up off the ground there to take back. So I've got some glass that I can make without going mining. Quartz chunk. Is it quartz chunks or clear quartz? I want. Which gives the the better glass? I'm gonna hazard yes and say clear. considerably more of the other type though. pieces smelt into two glass. <sighs> All right, well, now I have 12 pieces, so that's three glass. to go home. Is a bridge?
Is was a bridge? This was a wall? exciting as I thought it was going to be. Oh. Okay. Uh, home, let's just go directly west from here. I think two stacks of limestone should get me enough lime to process some leather. But what's on here? Oh, oh but look what's in there! No. I got it. And my bags are full. <sighs> Not be seduced by ruin. Even though I just noticed another one on the map. Definitely taking. Oh, I'll be right back. Every now and then, my buttons don't quite register.
What is that? Whoopsie. All right. Name is an order that came in. Obviously, in oversized boxes because that's. Oh, Amazon rolled. Light bulbs. Very exciting. Light bulbs. 5k light bulbs. This is the box I'm interested in, because this is the box that's got the treats. This is what I'd be waiting for. This is my emergency snack for 24 hour stream. Terrible cheddar popcorn mix. Some gel polish remover. All right. The timing is fantastic because we're about to. I swear the icons change every time it look. Look, there's one now for a hollow. Soybeans. All right, we have ads starting shortly. I will, I know I just got up, but I'm going to go take a potty break because I need to wee. And uh, I'll be, oh no, look, there's another building. I'll be right back. Hey, bye. Oh, here. Wait. Give this.
My heat got in the way. Okay. So we are going home. I am prepared to ditch. Food stuff if I find peanut seeds. I just sleep through the night, right? I'll be able to see. Would make more sense. Okay, so now I just have to wait for an hour and a half. So I can see again. So now what is she barking at? Doggo is throwing a tantrum. Which is fair, because I would too. So the... The only thing is, now I've got all that lime. Uh, it'd be easier if I just cut straight across, wouldn't it? Um. So now I have to grind it. Also, I don't think I marked that tree hollow. Grrrr. 
Ravi. Ravi, Ravi, Ravi. Hello. Hope you slept well last night. Now Daisy is uh, throwing a tantrum right now. She's looking in the door, like at the cam- well not quite at the camera, but like looking inside and like steering and embarking and making her displeasure felt. It was up there. You've been. Oh my god, there are so many rabbits out here. in the air. Yeah, I think this is the ruin that had some handy dandy stuff. Did just notice the wagon wheel. Yeah, this is it. This is one hit carpet and a bunch of other things. Okay, so we're gonna have to come back to this. I think we need to change the icon for that though. For like looted and unlooted ruins. What is that symbol? Okay, right, let's use... Right. So we're gonna use the little barn symbols the ruins that I want to come back there it'll work I'm very interested in this I got this nail polish quick gel remover apparently dissolves the the gel nails really fast. Really looking forward to trying it. I'm going to wait. At the moment, the uh, the gel nails are making them my nails a lot stronger. So I'm going to wait until after I've done all my Monday stuff the dishes and the lawns and shit put up the pool and then I'll take them off Oh, 
throw-ish. It's getting scourgy. Side was halfway there. Thank you, Ravi. Yeah. I do need to drink. My throat's got a, a catch. Hmm. The last thing needed for the pool today, which is the cover. Hey, what's up there? Have I mentioned that I'm excited to get this pool out? Uh, yeah, so we're gonna keep it. I feel like I've been waffling on a lot about it. So I've got to mow the lawn first. Um, and then I've got a bit of a hole to fill in. So a bit of a dip in the lawn that I need to fill in just to level things out. And then I'm going to put a tarp down and then the pool. And then I'm going to get the pool centered on the top, so that's going to be fun. Putting it on a, putting the pool on a tarp rather than directly on the lawn so that when I need to, it stops grass from growing up around it so I don't have to worry about weed eating near it and uh, potentially damaging the pool. That is a very round tree. Isn't that pleasing? What a lovely tree. And we've got the chemical treatment for it, and we've got the cover. It's 
still going to be a bit of a process, but we're at the point where it's just a, we've got all the pieces. We just have to put it together. And also I have to hope that all the pieces actually fit. <gasps> yes, where's mine? Sounds better than what I had. The the pool cover came in, Sadie. And and this stuff, which is apparently magic. Oh, it'll be cold by the time I get there. And, and, and. This. It might be a little bit fairy. Maybe. looking at it I'm a little concerned that there's not enough caramel in here and a lot of cheddar but still this is the one that I ended up going with rather than the brand I knew just because it was like a, a reusable container it does hopefully it's a good cheesy I will. I want to try it, but if I open it now, then maybe it'll go. It might go stale. So I think it's better if I just wait. If I don't like it and I find out on the day of, I may not be able to get a replacement so quickly. What? <laughs> now what do? This is a decidedly boring island. There's nothing on it. It's just an empty island. We just got great views though. When it's not raining, which is almost all of the time. Eh, we good.
I will try it in a few days. And that is a, a compromise. I got a bunch of laundry and dishes done today. This is cool. So, I think I've seen this before. One less thing I have to worry about on Monday. <laughs> I think I've been here before. finish off some of that tonight after stream I just realized as well Graham's up that way right so I can bring up Graham's crochet thing yeah I can bring up his Hades bees that he's been waiting so fucking patiently for like beyond patient i was just like oh wait a minute yeah and i'll save on Messing about with shipping and things won't get lost in the mail. And maybe he'll want to talk to me because I feel like it's dragged on too long and I feel guilty even though he's lovely and fine. Yeah. I can't imagine I'll have much. Maybe. I would like that, but I don't want to like. I'm worried that maybe I'll just be too much work. Because my brain is silly. Oh, hey, you refilled. Oh, well, in that case, yeah, <laughs> in that case, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I honestly, I think he'll just be pleased to get those bees. It's been so long. Hey, I need. Okay.
Oh right, I forgot I picked up a... Hey. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what? I should plant that. Making progress. just water and lime. Okay. How's our salt? Hey, good finish. So I need to chop a tree to get some more logs. I can make some planks to make some barrels. I see a pine tree. Worthy of destruction. Hey. Okay. Oh, command. Not enough tree trunk here. Oh, let's take out a birch. Oh, here we go. Hey, what's that? This is our tree. This is the one we're going for. I don't think I've seen a watch. Ah, the 
builder. Instead, I do need to get some new leggings before I go anywhere, before I travel, because all of my leggings are uh, well ventilated and not really appropriate for public. Or comfy for moving around in, actually. Don't oh, make me. Let's see if I can get Flint to take me to a thrift store. I mean, this is a lot. Yeah, I was gonna say, my, like, basically, thinking about it, most of my t shirts and leggings have holes in them. And it's fine for stream. I have this, mis I don't know if anyone gets this mysterious thing where there's like around my belly, there's always holes. It always ends up with holes in my t-shirts. And it's not from moths because it's only on like a couple of inches on my belly. It's not from leaning on a counter. I don't know what it is, but like all of my t-shirts have holes on the tummies. It's bizarre. Yeah, I have to see if I can catch Flint and get him to look for some thrift stores. Yeah, so that's all, all I wear is leggings. Like even my my jeans are leggings. So they don't have zippers. But I forget about it, so I'll, I'll put a top on and I'll be like, yeah, I look cute. And then I'll look down and I can see my <laughs> massive, I can see my, my <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I can see my skin through it. It's like, oh. This is my hand, by the way. <laughs> it's like, come on, please. Just. Such a bizarre thing, but yeah, I was like, basic. I, I have, I'm fine with wearing the same clothes for years. It doesn't bother me. Um, but it did does make me realize that my, a lot of my clothes are uh, not a great set of gear. I take the fast out of fast fashion. Honestly, the comfiest pair of jeans I ever had were from uh, a friend of mine that she gave me after she had her youngest. Um, they're like a, she had a really nice pair of jeans, but it had like that sort of soft cloth inset panel on the tummy, designed to cover the tummies, and it's great because I have a I have a tummy. And so I wore those all the time because it meant that I didn't get a cold back and my tummy didn't get exposed when I stretched. I thought they were like the best pants ever. And for a while, I absolutely shopped maternity clothes just, <laughs> just, just for the comfort. It was so good. I don't know why I stopped. I think I just didn't find any in uh, thrift stores.
Yeah, like even like, I need to go through like undies and stuff as well. Like I know it's I, just a lot of stuff that's beyond the point of repair that I just refuse to let go and there's no point holding on to that. You know, like when your undies are more holy than the Pope, you know you've got a problem. You know? And it's just like, it's one of those things that I don't really pay much attention to. And then I'm like, oh, righto. Whoopsie, cutting on the bed. Yeah. Actually, funnily enough, I think the the undies that I have that are in the best condition are actually the period underwear that I've got. But the ones that the like proper ones that I've got with the the extra lining but see like a bunch of my t-shirts I basically have like four or five t-shirts from Walmart they're all I should probably got more of them they're all the same style just different colors so I find one that I like and I'll just grab like a handful of matching ones and that's it I don't have to think about it and the same with leggings I'll find a pair of leggings and then just buy like multiple pair and then I'm done and then anything that has like slight variation in style is stuff that I picked up from a thrift store My favorite thrift store here closed last year. It sucks. It was an an independent thrift store, um, and it all proceeds went to a women's shelter, like a domestic refuge, a domestic violence refuge. And they had really lovely stuff, and the staff were lovely, and it was just a nice thrift store to look around. Like it was organized and clean, and it didn't stink. And now most of the ones we've got are ones that try and uh, evangelize at you <laughs> while you're trying to, you know, look for t-shirts. Well, they arrange by color, but not size, because that looks prettier. And then you have to spend like five hours just to try and find a t-shirt that fits. I'm such a grump when it comes to thrift stores. Now, like, organize by size, please. We basically have, like, a bunch of goodwill, which I won't go to. I am stoned. Like, the goodwill... The... At this point, shopping at Goodwill is more expensive than shopping at Walmart. The hell is going on there? Hey, baby. Um, and then there's like another one that's, uh, it was a really good one. In fact, everything was like really openly spaced and the shelves were low. Um, and it was organized by size and so even though it was like a, a bible camp type one it was it had good stuff in it 
but then they decided to organize by color and now it's impossible to find everything <laughs> it's like <laughs> no i mean i know it's probably easier to for staff it's probably a lot easier just to be like oh this is a red t-shirt it goes in the red section especially when clothes have you know irregular sizing or no sizing like i understand why they do it but yeah i missed my favorite one Sadie Cricket is still playing that pirate game, by the way. Um, she posted about it in uh, the general game stuff. Channel. Okay, so once the hides have been soaked, they look like it looks like they're no longer perishable. So that's handy. Fifty liters of lime water. Um. 
Okay, so now I need to look for some oak. Make tannin. I'm making progress. I haven't got too distracted. Plenty of oak trees. I just don't like chopping oak trees because they're so pretty. Even though I know I can just like plant another one. Oh. Oh, Clay went to. I want to chop that pretty tree. Just doing it. I'm not looking. I can't see. Oh. Oh, you know what I could do? I could make some storage crates. So that's tannin. Hmm. Crates are just Absolutely, look, the color of the, the maple is just like such a nope for me. anything worth stacking?
Aged granite ashlar. Okay, so now we go hunting. I, can't, I think there were pigs out this way. I don't, I don't know if they like Oh no, never mind I do, I answered my question in my head Carry on Country Good talk, yeah. Thanks. Y'all helped a bunch. Sometimes it helps to ask your questions out loud. No, I was uh -huh. I was trying to decide if it'd be worth Marking where the pigs are. See if there's any natural piggy traps. I feel like I dug one around here somewhere. No idea where that cranberry came from. Hey, what's that? Oh. Okay. Stop looking at me like that. Um, okay. It's time for stretch break. I will just uh go take my stretch break now. Thanks, bye bye. I'll be right back.
um, Berkmay, have you had a chance to? Did, were you looking at one of those places at night time? I can't remember if you said you were going to or you had. You be good? Doesn't take so much. That's not great. That sounds very frustrating. Yeah, no, that's that is not not good for health, brain, anything really. to see it on fire. Oh no. That'll make it easy to set the car on fire though. Just saying. Ooh. A standalone's nice though, because then you have less problems, yeah, with neighbors. Well, 
I mean, you can still have problems with neighbors. Because we're standalone, but, you know, we're in a trailer, but... But still... Yeah, especially after after the bullshit you've had to deal with, I can imagine that the uh, the temptation there. Hi, Goose. I can't tell if that's a a pig or not. Yes, so. Goose. All right, let's see how we get on with this. No crap. I think I somehow stole a berry from a raccoon earlier. Yeah, we don't. I, I've, I've never lived with central air. Um, but I, I dream of it. We have we have window units in the bedrooms, but that's it. Um and for like half the year that's fine. Um, but like during summer it sucks so much. Like even now our kitchen once the temperature warms up, our kitchen very rarely drops below 80 degrees. Uh and in the height of summer our kitchen frequently gets over a hundred. So you're like, mm, you know what? I don't really need to cook. <laughs> it's it's fine. That's a lot of decisions. Like that's a lot of emotional effort. <laughs> like trying to to figure things out like that. You know what? I'll do it. Like I've I've house sitted, house sitted, sitted set. Did that house set? For I can word um for in places that have central, and it's just like oh my god, this is so amazing. I didn't know when telling me about. But I know Florida is the only place I've lived in that really has needed it. Aww. Oh. Yeah, mine's not too bad. The only, like, it gets, my mic picks it up if I have the fan up loud. Um, but, I mean, you can get a pretty decent quiet one for like less than 200 bucks. And mine do a lot of work in Florida, so I get, <laughs> I get like the three and the four year warranties on them. I get the extended plans. But what I do is before the plan is up, because we wear air conditioners out here, I will contact them and then file a claim because the AC isn't working and then get a refund and get a new air conditioner. So the cycle goes on. I mean, they're not working properly, so that's what it's for. It's worth it for the extra 60 bucks. Oh, what's going on here? Um, 
both. So you get a new app you end up just buying a new appliance with the the warranty payout, which gives you another three to four years with a new appliance and a new warranty. Are you... You are safe to eat. It's like... The window air conditioners aren't designed to be run the way that they are in Florida. And so they'll say it's good for four years, but after two, half the time they stop blowing cold air, even with maintenance. So many bees. I I do miss the um like once we we basically have them on all the time I miss the silence there. I miss I miss the peace of not having that constant sound. Hey, I found more peas. Need more peas right now. I'm sure. I'm sure I'm gonna fall in a hole. I mean, I know AC is, is like absolutely essential even in Ohio. I know when I was up there, whenever it was, it's really fucking hot. For some reason, everyone just assumes because it's like north, it's fine. And it's like, no. Still gets hot up there. All right, four, that's it. The pigs have like no fucks to give. Yeah, like that's that's more than enough to warrant needing AC. Hi, Ali. Hope you slept well. I always get really irritated when people are like, ah, oh, you don't know what hot is. Whatever, that doesn't need air conditioner. You should try this and this. And I'm like, dude, if you feel hot and sweaty, then get an AC. <laughs> if you don't, don't. Oh, these are good ones too. I can definitely see how it would sway a decision one way or the other in terms of getting uh, your place. Yeah.
I I just I would absolutely love to have a place with central. It's, it sounds so luxurious to me. Sounds so fancy. Mm, yeah. Dunno, these are tricky decisions. Trixie, Trixie. You know, this would be a lot easier if I could see. Well, we found out a cool thing about coal. No, not like, not like you got last night with that clip. I got, Drax looked at it and was like, I've never seen them do that before. <laughs> it was like, Oh, good. That makes it more creepy. Oh, hey, buddy. Look at that bear hanging out under the bee tree. Hey, Justin. We're looking for berries. So yeah, we found out a cool thing about Ooh. Um, cool thing to do with coal and now I'm just uh no not that kind of coal. <laughs> It has a, a coal in this game has like some interesting properties. So like it it stacks, but once it gets to a certain height, it it starts to move almost like water, like it it flows kind of. But I found out that you can kind of contain it a little bit and then it turns into like this self-feeding coal dispenser. I don't made a Pez dispenser. What is that for? Oh, never mind. I was like, what did I do? Oh, no. Oh, uh, my brain. But yeah, you can basically make like a Pierce dispenser for coal and it's cool because you can make it multi-story and it'll just like build up and up and up. Pretty, pretty neat. It's hoping to find a large enough quantity. Uh, it might do. I'd like some more cranberries. I suppose I don't really need them. Well, it's looking more and more likely that trip is happening in uh, July. I'm so lost. Where the f doing? Oh, 
these mushrooms. Nine mushrooms, nice. That's useful. Trying to get enough. <clears throat> um, veg to be able to get do like some bulk stews. I can hear bees. Yeah, from now on, Beard has to pick the seed for every game that I play. The, the seed that, that Beard said for this was not the bees, and there's been so many bees. So if he could say, like, not iron under my base for the next one that would be great no 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 oh god no no thanks I wonder, I, I'm wondering now if uh, the, the icky locusts like reset and respawn. Not that way. You know, just so I can be aware. I'm like bracing for it. Okay. Around the corner. Hey! Goose, it worked. <laughs> but now, now you know. Uh, yeah, but the trigger warning if you don't like creepy crawlies, look away. I'll give you a few seconds. All right. <laughs> I hate it. I knew exactly what was coming and I still hate it. They fall from the sky! No. Why did I go there again? Oh. <laughs> I need to look away. <laughs> uh. So there's the answer. Yes, they reset. 
and then they spawn again. So that's cool. What's that? I'm so glad I figured that out. <laughs> yucky all right let's cook some stew oh hey There's, there's like no point in doing this right now. Blech. Ah, that's so gross. It wouldn't be so bad, but there's obviously, even though they're not aggressive, there's obviously some sort of like thing that makes them all look at you. Not cool, bro. Not cool. Servings of red meat stew with cranberries and mushrooms. I'd eat that. Like, it just sounds like a like a, a nice sort of mush oh, sounds really good. Maybe I'm hungry. Ooh, let's play Icarus. I don't like it when they fall from the ceiling. Hey, the the shoot. I don't. No, no. That's a very good question. Now I think I need to go out there with like just a bunch of dirt and just like wall them in and put a sign saying do not enter. And next to the sign it says do not enter a little window so I can look in and remind myself why I don't want to go in there. Oh fire. I mean, I could destroy, I could try and destroy the nest, but that means I'd have to go back there. I don't know how, now I'm like, wait, I don't know how flammable they are. Is that a thing? Can I set them on fire? Where can I get flame arrows? If I really wanted to, I could put in the effort.
I mean, fire does spray it in this. Oh my god, that would be amazing. Toast and I would have so much fun. That day we 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 basically started a forest fire on opposite sides of this big forest and like, <laughs> like burned the forest towards each other and they met in the middle and had a barbecue with all <laughs> with all the forest critters. It makes it sound very dark, doesn't it? That was the thing that happened. <laughs> no, of course not. No, it's fine. It was actually, it wasn't dark at all. There was a lot of light because of all the fire. Like, a lot of light. Very bright, yeah. Six and six. No, I don't have enough for six and six. Cranberries and chanterelles. Sadie was helping uh, plan uh, well, getting getting my shit together for a 24 hour stream. I think we're making good progress. Including helping plan snacks. Oh look, look. Uh Cheater popcorn. Snack. It's very, it's very good snack. Twenty three servings. So basically, a serving is one ounce. How much? I don't know how much that is. Not no. I I don't think I want a caramel cheddar snack. I mean, it might be okay. I don't know. I wouldn't have thought so. Yeah, I mean, I would. using the wrong pot. Mushroom
It went faster than I thought. Thank you, Sadie. <laughs> Apparently, I have been I have been leaving polite cat on red. My phone and desktop were like unread message. I'm like, no, it's not. So one serving of hefty turnip almond mushroom stew with liver mushroom and indigo milk cap garnish. It doesn't sound like it should be tasty at all, but it's basically just a turnip and mushroom stew. Again, I need it. Let's see if I can find something else to. Are you? You're basically ready. Oh, they give me five carrots? Exciting. Apparently I'm hungry. If only I had something to eat. Are we ready soon? I said so. Was that it? That was a bit loud. To get rid of it. Okay, so we've got. How much did that use? Many liters. Five, so four liters per skin of lime water. Not entirely sure how much I'm going to get out of that. Is it only 10 o'clock?
He was later than Chain. I should don't know why I did that. Oh, look, one of my traps caught a drifter. Here, over here. Hello? Oh, where? Hello? Yeah. I'm just painting. It is the wrong tool for the job, but I'm going to use it. Maple is just uh it's such a weird color. Bonk, 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 bonk.
here. Uh, oh. There. Oops. I don't know how efficient that's going to be at keeping them like, out of the central area by half a bit. Yeah, but just a growing. Is this onions? And a drifter. That's better. That's a better place for me. Okay, hey, we took good today. I did good. Uh, excuse me, sir. It's like Fuck you when trying to keep me out. Okay, so we got did the things on the list. Back up. Back up. Don't need a lot of sticks. Oh, actually. I have bricks of fire.
Okay. I wonder if I should... I think I should... Understand this is? No. Why would I do... Okay, that's better. It gives some storage. Well, those tools are about to break, but I have backups up here. Like how the drifter can push this around, but I can't. So we got leather getting processed. Um, got a bunch of food put out. Not in like amazing quantities, but I've got some food put out. I suppose... Go ahead there. Four servings. Let's seal it. some laundry and some dishes to do um i feel i feel good about what we made progress wise for in game and uh no it's too late to pause it i need to give myself that notice sooner than 30 seconds up well i'm about to read out to someone i'm not gonna do it in 30 seconds <laughs> Um, but yeah, we took a progress in game and then like planning for stream anniversary, which is next Saturday. So, Saturday, Sunday, the 18th and 19th, I believe, will be a 24 hour stream. Um, so, I'm gonna send you all over to Soma. So, Soma is playing all out of some variety. What are they playing? Four out four. Um, so please join us in raiding Soma. Um, here are the raid messages. If you would like to copy and paste one of those, you can do so. Social. Wait. 
they don't. Okay, it's fine. Um, tomorrow is craft day. Um, I've got a couple of bits and pieces to try and catch up on on that stream. So we're all cut up with the scarf from last week. Uh, so I've got a giant bumblebee to finish. Um, that I want to try and get done soonish and a couple of other bits and pieces so it's going to be working on some works in progress that I've been uh, slack on slack working on um so yeah I'll see you guys tomorrow for a craft stream have a good evening be well be safe be kind to yourselves be kind to others do a self-care um and I'm gonna shut up now and just go away because I can't do an outro without it being weird and awkward <laughs>